you lot, welcome back. Today's sketchbook spread turned out to be one of my favourites so far, so let's take it right back to the preparation stage that I think really made the difference with how this turned out. Now that we're coming to halfway through the series, I feel like I'm starting to see real improvement and real development in my work. I mean, this page of lettering compared to my earlier, more experimental typography page, the difference is really quite obvious and quite encouraging. Today's video is a little bit different because it's sponsored by Skillshare.com and I have to come right out and attribute the shift in my confidence and just the general refining of my hand lettering, composition and even the illustrating portion of this spread to what I've learned through their classes in the last few days alone. So we'll talk more about that in a second but first what you're seeing now is me trying out a few lettering styles and later on some composition ideas for my words. I chose to use this line from a Pablo Neruda poem that goes Nobody keeps any of what he has, and life is only a borrowing of bones. But this is great fun to do with quotes, song lyrics, even just famous sayings and phrases. You might have seen through my previous videos, I've never really been one to plan my work like this. A lot of the time when people ask me how or why in the comments, I end up having to admit that I make it up as I go along, and if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Which is a strategy that I want to get out of this year. As I've said before, and the reason I'm even doing the sketchbook series, I would really love to put more time into learning the skills and knowledge that go into creating pieces of art. You know, it would be nice to actually know what I'm doing for once. So having planned and brainstormed the different elements and font styles that I wanted to use, I felt so much more secure in moving on to inking the actual page. Going off the key themes of life and bones, I had the idea to go with a gravestone kind of shape and use some sort of whimsical, poetic font, as well as some of that typical engraved font that you'd get on a gravestone. I'm taking more of a considered, educated approach and that's what I feel I've been missing in the development of my art and my attempts to learn and improve. And this is all stuff that I've picked up from Skillshare classes. So just for a bit of info on the site, Skillshare is an online learning community. They have over 13,000 classes in drawing, painting, lettering, craft, design, photography, even things like personal development and productivity. So many things that I'm interested in, even film and video editing, so much more. And it's bridged a gap for me between my isolated, regimented way of self-teaching to a more extensive and immersive and engaging learning experience. I really can't speak highly enough of this site and how much it's done for me in such a short time. Um, here I'm just testing out a few pens for line weight. I just wanted to thicken up the lines here to make the lettering stand out more from the flourishes. Shout out to this new set of pens by the way. Shout out to my boyfriend for getting me them. If you're interested in inking and line work, this is a great varied set to get creative with. Now I was actually having so much fun with this, I really just wanted to keep it going. I've also taken a class or two on developing ideas for illustrations and it's really helped me spark inspiration from just a couple of words. So I decided to keep this spread going onto the next page using the words as an inspiration for a drawing. So again, you get to see a bit of my brainstorming process. Just these little tweaks in the preparation process, you know, that I think make a real difference for the finished piece. Now the most exciting thing about my experience with Skillshare is that they're actually offering my viewers three months of membership to the site for 99 cents. You can check out some of the classes I've mentioned, I'll have them linked below. Or I found a great series of courses called Art School Bootcamp that go into some of the key concepts of composition and colour and style development, even touching on art history. So with the link in the description, you would have unlimited access to these classes and projects and whichever others take your fancy for three months for just 99 cents. You can even teach your own classes on there if that's something you think you'd be interested in. I think just from looking at how I've been able to take on valuable lessons and important tips and tricks, you can see just how rewarding it can be to be able to follow a structured lesson plan taught by people who are passionate and experienced in their craft with class notes and references and bonus material to refer to. Then to get to see other people's work, share yours, give and receive feedback and create in this collaborative space. And after three months, if it's taking your fancy, premium membership costs about $10 a month. Um, so I do hope you check out Skillshare. I'll have their website linked below. It'd be great to hear what you guys think of it. But yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.